The latest from a Missouri manhunt for a kidnapping suspect. And how a certain type of light show could be banned in Columbia. KOMU 8 News First at 5 starts now. Live from Studio 8A, coverage you can count on in high definition. This is KOMU 8 News First at 5. A jury found a Jefferson City man guilty of murder this afternoon. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brittany Peeper. And I'm Christine Roto. Let's take a look at the events that led up to the conviction of Brandon Chase. On April 22, 2012, Keith Mosley was shot in Jefferson City. Later that day, police charged Chase with murder and robbery after he turned himself in to the police. And on March 7, 2013, the judge declared a mistrial in Chase's, Chase's first trial after the jury could not come to a verdict. KOMU8's Jen Lask spent the day at the trial. She joins us now with Live in Jefferson City, Jen Lask, KOMU8 News. The hunt for a 23-year-old suspected of kidnapping, sexual assault, and forcible rape continues. Brian Atkinson is wanted for his involvement in a kidnapping of Lauren Crawford of Caldwell County on June 15th. KOMU8's Jack Washer is live at the Morgan County Sheriff's Department for what is now being called a manhunt. It's been about 24 hours since the manhunt for Brian Atkinson started, since a Marine operations officer spotted him getting out of the water and fleeing into the Little Buffalo Cove area. Now, police are searching between mile marker 65 and 75, still looking for him. I mean, it's an absolute manhunt. There are canine units here, Marine units. The FBI has even been called in. However, no FBI units on the ground right now. The police believe he is within those mile markers 65 and 75, so there is no need for an expanded search. Like I said, and the, you know, Cole County even uh, donated their command squad. I mean, if you look, if you were down at the command center today, which I was, there were 20, 30 cars there. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, reporting live in Morgan County, Jack Washer, KMU 8 News. Jefferson City Police responded to a robbery at a break time this morning. An unarmed suspect forced open the cash, re cash register, and when it was open, grabbed cash and fled the scene. The clerk at the break time chased the man east on West Main Street, but was unable to catch him. Here's a picture of the suspect. He's a male in his early to middle 20s, about 5'9 and 160 pounds. The clerk said he was wearing a silver chain, yellow shirt, and gray pants. If you have any information about the crime, contact Jefferson City Police Detectives or call Crime Stoppers at 6 Five, nine, tips. The Missouri Department of Economic Development released its jobs data for the month of May today. The unemployment rate in Missouri rose slightly to 6.8 percent. Despite the rise in unemployment, Missouri added 4,600 jobs. 3,600 of those jobs were added in the construction industry, which saw the biggest gain in jobs. They say a cat has nine lives, and a tabby cat in Columbia is proving that. A Columbia Second Chance volunteer found the cat with its head stuck inside a garbage bag last night. The bag was tied around the cat's neck. The volunteer took it to an animal hospital in Columbia. The cat is doing well, and Horn Animal Hospital employees say the cat just wants a lot of attention. The organization says the inc this incident brings up a larger problem. Officials say there are cats and kittens everywhere right now because it's breeding season. We run into this every year. Um, spring usually brings us a lot of pregnant mamas, which means that we have a lot of kittens. We were actually expecting the influx a couple of months ago, but it's turned out that it's June is the influx. June is bad every year. The people find cats and kittens just everywhere. The cat was released and will now go into a second chance foster home. If you're interested in helping out Columbia Second Chance, you can find more information on our website at KOMU.com. Raging forest fires continue to destroy homes. For about the next week, it's going to be low 90s, low 70s in our overnight hours. We need to find a pool to hang out with. Yeah. It's <laughs> great. I'm going to be fanning ourselves a little bit. All right. Thanks, Rosie. Sure. Experts say a new study proves controversial flu shot claims. Coming up, whether or not a flu shot can keep you healthy. There are a lot of... Several beaches across the state are closed because of high bacteria levels. Beaches at Harry S. Truman and Grand Glaze Beach and at the Lake of the Ozarks are two of the beaches closed. Officials say the bacteria level is too high and swimming at those beaches is off limits. But some swimmers are still hitting the beaches because they think they won't get sick. No, because as long as you don't have open sores or you don't get the water in your mouth, you should be okay. Lake of the Ozarks Public Beach 1 is still open for swimming. 
You're probably used to hearing mixed reviews on flu shots, but a new study reveals that the shot may be more beneficial than you think. Results from the CDC's study shows that since 2007, flu shots prevented 13 million flu cases and more than 100,000 flu-related hospitalizations. Researchers say results confirm the validity, validity of flu vaccination programs. And young people could be smoking alcohol rather than drinking it, a new trend that has doctors worried. Videos on YouTube show young people transforming basements and dorm rooms into labs to pressurize a bottle with beer, li liquor, or wine in it, and then inhale the vapor. The process sends intoxicating fumes straight to the lungs and brain, which doctors say is very dangerous. They say it allows people to consume alcohol without the calories, and it can damage the lining of your lungs. New studies show those who suffer from strokes are more at risk for conditions like PTSD. The Columbia University Medical Center found one in four stroke patients develop symptoms of PTSD within the first year of their health scare. Researchers say they hope to learn if mental health treatment shortly after a stroke will benefit patients. Another study found patients suffering from symptoms of a mini stroke like sudden weakness, garbled speech and blurred vision may be more likely to have problems with memory and thinking. One month ago today, a massive EF5 tornado devastated Moore, Oklahoma. Along with the visible debris, one invisible factor can cause health problems for residents. It's called tornado cough, an allergic reaction to debris in the air. Things like drywall, fiberglass, and mold can cause problems when thrown into the air all at once. The condition can even cause death over a long period of time. The best defense is to wear a mask. In today's talk, we ask you whether or not you thought obesity should be classified as a disease. Coming up after the break, we'll hear what you had to say. Place before the city council signed an ordinance establishing a waiting period to decide on the issue. Gas station pricing boards would still be allowed as well. The ban is being considered because some think the signs are dangerous. If the Planning and Zoning Commission approves the ordinance tonight, it will go to the city council. For the U.S. The U.S. House of Representatives struck down the farm bill today. The five-year, half-trillion-dollar bill would have cut $2 billion a year from the food stamp program. Both parties had opposed the food stamp cuts, but for different reasons. Many Republicans called for more cuts, while some Democrats were completely against any cuts. The food stamp program feeds one in seven Americans and costs $80 billion a year. And the Missouri House created two committees to study, the changes, to study changes to the Medicaid program for the poor. House Speaker Tim Jones says the new panels will pair citizens with legislators. Information from the study will be used on a proposal for the 2014 legislative session. Earlier this year, legislation to expand Medicaid to thousands of low-income adults was rejected. Today, the obesity rate in Missouri is... And adopt that precious puppy, Superman, if you can. Log on www.cmhspets.org. He's going to go fast. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night.